Good morning. Yesterday was the one year anniversary of Tom's death and I had intended uh, to send a text or to reach out to you all. And, uh, and then something happened in the early morning that was a kind of a visit from Tom. And I thought I would share that. Uh, I thought I would share that in this little, um, in this little uh, video. Um, when I was, uh, we were living in Edina and I was, it's so hard for me to know, I was maybe 10 or 11, maybe in fourth grade. And uh, it was fourth grade. And, and um, there was a comet that was on its way that was going to be uh, bigger than Halley's Comet, it was going to fill the sky. And I got so excited. I remember we had science class, and I was so excited by this. It was called Kahootek, named after the guy who, who discovered it. So I begged Graham and Grandpa to give me a, a telescope and I would, and they, they did. And initially it, it wasn't quite Christmas yet. So we had binoculars and I would go wake up at early in the morning and, you know, get people up early in the morning to look for Kahootek and would stand at the uh, window in the dining room, uh, looking out down the big hill and where Parkwood Avenue I was there at the bottom of the hill, looking out through binoculars, trying to find this Kahootek. Well, Kahootek was a dud. And for whatever reason, you know, the, the ice nucleus didn't loosen enough in order to throw off flames, but whatever it was. But Tom uh, get, would give me a hard time and call me Kahootek. And then as the years went on, uh, if I, you know, spoke uh, author authoritatively about some topic for which I had no right to speak authoritatively and I was no authority on it, Tom would say, uh, okay, Kahootek. Uh, and it, it became uh, his sort of like, you know, no shit Sherlock kind of thing. Uh, okay, Kahootek, he'd say, to kind of put me in my place. Yesterday morning, I'm on the phone or on the Zoom with two of my colleagues, Father John uh, Ferguson and a Deacon Missy uh, Couch, and we're um, we're actually studying and preparing for Advent and then Christmas and Epiphany, um, and we're talking about the star that goes, you know, over uh, Bethlehem that the three wise men or the three, you know. Three wise ones followed, and uh, in the right in the moments, uh, Deacon Missy says to me, or says to us, you know, I th some people say it was that comet, not Halley's comet, but that comet Kahootek. People, I've not heard the name Kahootek out of anyone but Tom Ryan's mouth in probably you know twenty years. And I had just shared with them and we had prayed because I just shared with them that it was Tom's one year anniversary of his death. And when she said that, I thought, um, I, I had this image of Tom who couldn't wink with one eye, as you know, uh, sort of casting a gaze at me, smiling and, and giving me one of his winks. Uh, and it was such a beautiful visit. And my hope for all of us is that, that, that we can be open to, to seeing and experiencing and noticing uh, the ways in which Tom visits us and will continue to visit us. Um, as the butterfly
visits the caterpillar. The caterpillar cannot lift its eyes up to see, but nonetheless, the butterfly is present to his old friends and family who continue to tread upon these leaves and until, the, until that great day when they become butterflies, until that great day when we become butterflies with Tom. I love you guys and I'm so grateful uh, that I had the inspiration to share this story with you. This is Kahootek signing off.